thing you have to look at first is when you when you open up the rail kit package, there's gonna be two different types of screws in there. There's gonna be a screw that has a crush washer that's loose, and there's gonna be a screw that has a built-in stable washer. The crush washer screw is the one that you're gonna to use to attach the rail kit to the cabinet. Um, you see that on the, on the front of the cabinet, they have square holes. One with the crush washer gets centered on that square hole to, to, to mount the, the rail kit. The rail kit comes from behind. You might think that something is wrong because these screws actually do go through those holes. But when they are centered, and that's important, when they're centered, the, the, the crush washer will crush and keep, uh, keep it in there nice and firm and tight. The other screws are able to screw the actual ear of the unit that's on the side of the unit into the rail kit. So the first thing we want to do with these rail kits is determine which screws we're going to use. If you're installing a 3U unit, you're going to use the bottom screw and the top screw. And the reason that is, because here's the, you want to make sure that the, the holes that you're going to be screwing the through to don't already have screws in them. So a 3U three three unit, we're going to install in the top and the bottom in the front. And then a 2U, we're going to install in the second and the fifth. So one in from the top, one in from the bottom. All right, so when you're getting ready to install the rail kit, make sure the shelf for that rail kit is facing in and towards the front. That's the front of the rail kit, that it'll slide and extend towards the rear. And you're gonna make sure that you get to the very bottom of the rack. If there's something already in the bottom of the rack, just go one above it. But you want UPSs as low as they can get in the rack. And as you can see, he's since we know we're installing a 3U, he's gonna use the bottom and the top screws in the front. And in the back, um, you can either put two or three. I like to use three usually. One on top, one in the middle, one in the bottom. You can see the rails are numbered. Just make sure you have it in the same places so the unit is so it's level. And then you're gonna do the same for the next side. And again, you're gonna make sure that it's in the same side to side and back to front.